Hey guys, welcome to your channel. In this video, you'll learn on how to make real estate listing website on Wix. The first thing that we should do is we have to open any of our web browser and then log in to our Wix account. So you just have to visit the Wix website and then log in to your account. And as you can see right here, I am in Wix Studio and these are all the sites that I have created. So what you're going to do is you can edit an existing site or simply create a new site. For this video, I'm just going to create a new site and click on Use Wix Editor. Okay, and then another tab will open. So you just have to wait for a couple of seconds and then right here, bring your ideas to life with AI. So you can get started faster with the help of AI. So you just have to tell them about yourself and get a personalized tools, images, and text for your site. So you can start with a chat or set up without a chat. So for this one, I'm just going to set up without a chat. And then right here, what type of website do you want to create? So we're just going to search for real estate. Okay, so I think um, real estate agent would do or real estate um, consultant. And then after that, you just then have to click on continue. So I'm going to select um, real estate agent for this one, then click on continue. And now that they're preparing your dashboard, you just have to wait for a couple of seconds. Okay, and then after that, right here, we are on our dashboard. So first thing is we just have to tell them a bit about our business. So this will help to customize our experience. I'm just going to type it right here. What's the name of your business? So it is real estate. After that, you can click on continue or skip this part. So for the um, default working hours, so I'm going to um, skip this one. Here, here you can start adding services. Choose any of their customizable services or create one of your own. So there are so many um, services that you can add to your um, website. But for this one, I'm going to skip this part. Okay, so we have here a listing appointment, but I'm going to skip this. And right here, we can add staff members. So include yourself and anyone else who will be provided services of your business. Okay, so I am going to skip this part as well. Right here, what else do you want to do with your business? Okay, so we have for virtual sessions, accept online payment, um, send automated emails and SMS reminders, manage your services, and bookings on the go. So if you would like to add um, this thing, so you just have to click on continue. Now that we're all set, you just have to click on continue to dashboard, and then just wait for a couple of seconds. Okay, so now that we're here, we can add our custom domain right here. Okay, but I'm going to skip that part. Then right here, we have to add a referral service, design our website, get found in Google, discover Wix Enterprise. Then after that, just have to click on the sign site at the top right of this page. Okay, and then right here, how would you like to design your website? So we can um, generate a design with AI or we can customize a template. So for this video, I'm going to um, browse thousands of designs and then pick one to customize. So just click on pick a template. And you can also continue with setup for now. Okay, so when you clicked on this one, you'll be able to see thousands of templates that is related to our business name. So as you can see right here at the top right, okay, so we have a search bar. So you can use this one to um, search for a specific template that we love or that we need. So for example, this um, template right here. Okay, so you just have to scroll down and then you can also go back here to the search bar and add more details. So real estate listing. So if you find the template that you need, so you just have to simply click on it and click on edit. But for this video, I'm going to start with a blank template. Okay, so let me just go back right here and then just click on the blank template option. Okay, so this one. So when you click on it, you'd be able to see this layout. So we can start from scratch. We have minimal layout, classic layout, one page layout, and more. So for this one, I'm going to start from scratch. Okay, so when you select a template, you just have to simply click on it and click on edit. Okay, so you just have to wait for a couple of seconds. 
Okay, so now that we are here, we can now start adding elements or add a design to our website. So to add elements or, you know, text to your website, all you have to do is to go and head over to your left side and we have this add element section right here. So when you clicked on this one, we have this element. So I'm going to select image and then we can upload our own images or import images or use AI image creator. So we can use um, media from Wix. But for this one, I'm going to upload my own. So I'm going to click on upload and import. Now click on upload images. Okay, and then you'd be directed to this page. All you have to do now is to click on upload it from computer. Then go to your folder and select the image that you need. Okay, so for this one, I'm going to select this. Okay, now just click on open and then just wait for a couple of seconds. Okay, so right here, the image is uploading. So just wait and then click on add to page. So what you're going to do now is to simply um, stretch the image. Okay, so let me just um, stretch the upper side as well as well as the left side and the bottom okay so let me just click on this one okay i think this is better now next thing that we can do is to add a text or heading so just go back here to add elements and go to the text section and then click on add heading one two or three so next thing that we can do is to change the text so i'm just going to simply type out real estate Okay, and then we are going to change the color of this text. Okay, so make sure to um, highlight the text before selecting the color. I think um, maybe white would be better for this one. And then after that, you can now um, resize the font size. Okay, so just simply click on it again and click on edit text. And then simply drag the um, adjustment bar for the text size. Okay. Next thing that you should do is to simply click on the X button at the top right of the page. Now you just have to place your text anywhere. So I think this one is better. Next thing that we can do here is to simply add a section. So to add a section, you just have to click on the footer. Then you'd be able to see this add section option. So just click on it and you'd be able to see here the sections that you can add. So we have um, welcome section, about section, gallery section, team section, contact section, and more. But for this one, I think I am going to add a blank section. Okay, so let me just try to find a section that we can use for our real estate listing. Let me just go back right here. I think I'm just going to add a blank section for this one. So I just click on add section again. And then you'll be able to see here the blank section. Okay, so this one, so you just have to click on it. Okay, so next thing that we can do now is to click on the add apps option. So this one right here. Next is you just have to click on app market. And then using the search bar, you just have to type out real estate. Okay, so just click on this one. And you'll be able to see these applications. So what you're going to do is to simply click on this real estate app. Okay, so just wait for a couple of seconds and then you'd be able to see this add uh, decide option. So you just have to click on it. Okay, so after that, you just have to read the basic site info and then just click on agree and add. Okay, so after reading the basic info, just click on agree and add. Then just wait for a couple of seconds. Okay, so... Here is the um, real estate application that we have added. Next thing that we can do is to simply customize this template. Okay, so to do that, you just have to click on that and then just click on settings. Okay, that's right. And then you'd be able to see here in other properties. So you just click on manage properties. Okay, next thing you should do is you just have to add your first property. So click on this button right here. And then we can now start customizing our property. So we can add a title, banner, price, property type. Okay, and then you can also select sale or rent. And then we have here the general information, property ID, 
number of bedrooms, number of bathrooms, and more. So let us try to fill out this form. So for example, the title of our first property is Minimal Design. So it's up to you. Okay, so let me just type it out. Next is the banner. So if you have a banner, so you can type it over right here. So I'm just going to type out anything. Next is the price of your property. So for this example, I'm just going to type out maybe $100,000. Okay, next is the property type. So we have here residential, apartment, condo, penthouse, and more. So I'm just going to select residential and then um, if it is for sale or for rent. So I'm going to select for sale. Then right here for the general information, you just have to type out first your property ID. Next is the number of bedrooms, number of bathrooms, the property size, as well as your lot size. Okay, so I'm just going to type out uh, random numbers. Okay, so next thing is your contact information. Okay, so let me just type out right here my email. Next is the details, okay? So it is very important to type out right here all of the details of your property. Next is if you have features like pool, fireplace, balcony, parking, I can also add new features right here. Next is we are going to upload here our first image. Okay, so you just have to click on the add image option and then you can use media from Wix or simply upload your own media. So just click on it and then click on upload it from computer. Next is you just have to select the images that you want to upload. So I'm going to select one for now. So I think I'm going to use it. Next is click on open and then just wait for a couple of seconds until your image is uploaded. Okay. Next thing that you should do once the image is uploaded, you just have to click on it and then click on add to page option. Okay. So just click on add to page. So let me just add more images. So you have to take note as well that you can add multiple images in one go. Okay. So just click on upload from computer. And then you just have to select all of the images that you need. Okay, so I think I'm going to upload this images as well. Just click on open. And then just wait for a couple of seconds until all of your images will be uploaded. Okay, so next thing that you should do is to simply select all of those images and click on add to page. Next is we are going to add here now a relocation using the map. So you just have to locate your property on this map. So you can use the map or the satellite. Okay, so you just have to simply drag it. You can scroll and then zoom it in. Next is the address. Okay, so I'm just going to use my current address. Next thing you should do is to simply save it. So now we have successfully added our first ever property. Next is we can now preview this property. Okay, so if you would like to add more properties, you just have to click on the plus icon. So before adding new properties, I am going to show you more um, settings right here. So let's click on it again and click on settings. And right here, we can um, change the font, the font size, the background, the text color, and then the pagination color. Okay, so when you click on this one, we have different set of colors. So you just have to simply click on the color that you want to use as your background. Okay, so after that, just click on OK. Then right here, when you scroll down, we have this settings as well. So you just have to simply click on the arrow that is facing downwards. Okay, so right here, we can preview if how it will going to look like. Okay, so we have also here the settings. So after customizing the settings, you just have to simply click on the X icon at the top right. And then let us write to preview this um, listing. Okay, so just click on a preview. And as you can see, when someone visit our website and they clicked on this see full details right here, they'd be able to see here now the full details of our property. Okay, so we have here the property ID, the property type, the address, and more. Okay, so if you would like to add more properties, so all you have to do is to simply click on it again. So make sure to click on back to editor first. And then right here, just simply click on um, settings. Okay, 
and then right here just clicked on the manage properties again and then from there you'd be able to see this plus icon so just click on it to add a new property so you can just type out again a new title or add a new banner okay so just have to do the same just have to upload your images on all of the details of your new property and since this is just a free feature of the real estate application so we can upgrade it to a plan so just simply click on that upgrade now option at the top to simply access all of the features or to remove the um, thumbnail or the watermark of this um, application and start listing more real estate properties okay so let me just preview it once again so when someone visit our website they'd be able to see here now all of our real estate properties okay so that's it for this video if you think this video helped you solve your concern please subscribe like this video and leave your comment below bye